Welcome back to that dad guy. It's March 24th, 2024. 24 and 24. Very cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you're looking at my eye, they're a little sleepy. I made the mistake or, you know, I stayed up late last night. I watched the F1 race in Australia and it didn't air at, until one o'clock my time. And so by 2.30 in the morning, it completed. I wasn't planning on staying up to watch it. But uh, within the first three laps, the whole race kind of changed. So I got stuck in watching it and it was very exciting. So I'm feeling it this morning as I still got up at my regular early hour. Um, so I'm traveling on a boat. To, I don't know. Very, very little sleep anyways. Well, today I am going to do some more post crossing. I've got five official cards that I still can send out. I sent out a bunch on Thursday. Um, so I'm going to max out my slots and send out the additional five today. I picked out five uh, profiles and uh, the cards that I think should go with them. And then at the end, I'm going to decorate one of the cards and so you can see that as well. If you're tuning in for the first time and finding my channel, thank you very much. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave positive comments, share with other people, and put the notification bell on so you don't miss anything. So let's get to some of those profiles on the cards that I picked out. The first one is going off to Germany. Uh, she says she lives in the southwest part of Germany, and she's owned by four cats who are a lot of fun. I've always loved to travel and I learn about other people and cultures, but haven't been able to do as much as I like. Postcards from around the world have always been a great way for me to get a glimpse into foreign cultures. And I started collecting them for from an early age to enjoy and the typical tourist postcards, uh, and she enjoys the typical uh, tourist postcards a lot. I'm passionate about books and stories, tall ships on the sea, nature, tea drinking and cats. My hobbies are reading, writing, photography, uh, nature, landscapes, and macro. Gardening, music, mostly classical and folk art, needlework, and sharing these with people I meet on and offline. I love stamps, so if you have any pretty or interesting ones, I'd be happy, very happy to get them. Please don't use an envelope, though, if possible. I prefer to get the stamps and the messages on the card itself, and it's better for the environment. Please no free or add cards unless they fit in one of my theme categories. Um, please, no cards with recipes or prepared food cooked on them. I can't eat a lot of things, and it gets uh, getting such of these cards isn't fun for me. Also, please, no AI generated cards. I support our artists and pay for design, so I hope you'll do as well. Happy post crossing. With that last sentence in mind about artists and supporting artists, um, I picked this card. She said she likes the sea, so this is an artist rendering. Uh, this is Melanie Kotef Bachman in St. John. Uh, she was a friend of my sister's, so my sister managed to get a few of her um, designs on postcards. And then you can see uh, there her information. So I thought, let's support an artist, a local artist, uh, give a postcard that goes with it. And it also has something to do with the sea. So I think it ticks a lot of boxes for that particular postcrosser. All right, and the next card was very exciting to get because it's going to Liechtenstein. I've received cards from Liechtenstein. Actually, I received a couple uh, just last week or the week before uh, from someone who lives in Germany, Vera, and uh, she went to Liechtenstein. So um, it's nice to get an, ad an official address from there too. I don't think I ever have before. So she says, starts off by saying hello from the Principality of Liechtenstein. Uh, she's 38 years old and she... Uh, has lived in the United States, Ireland, and Canada. I wonder where in Canada. Liechtenstein is an alpine monarchy between Austria and Switzerland. It's the sixth smallest country in the world. We have mountains, lakes, hiking trails, and ski resorts, and many museums to discover. What I love most about post crossing is that you never know when to expect a card and where it's coming from, which is really true. Um, going out in the mailbox, you never know what's going to be there waiting for you. Her favorite cards are number one from Japan, postcards with black and white or calico cats. Uh, she has two cats that look like that. Number two, meetup cards signed by the participants or unsigned from you. Landscapes, which is number three, where do you live, what I should visit in country. Number four, cities, uh, cards like Singapore, Sydney, Auckland, Buenos Aires. Number five, uh, famous sites like the Sydney Harbour Bridge or the London Eye. Number four, five again she's put five twice but quotes if you have a card with a great quote uh, let me discover it great stamps are always appreciated if you can think of anything to write tell me what you'd like to do in your spare time or who inspires you and where you'd like to travel to next well because number two and number three on her list are meetup cards and landscapes 
we are going with this one here. So um, I probably could have went with another card that has the more famous landscape, but covered bridges um, represent New Brunswick very well. This one in particular is the one signed by the participants. So that's what she asked for. So that's what she's going to get. The next card is going to Austria. May have to, oh, looking back at something. Um, uh, the next card is going to Austria and says she lives in Vienna, moved here in 2005, but originally from Stuttgart. Very happy here in Vienna. I love to show visitors what a lovely place it is with the cafes and restaurants and the city center. I work with adults with mental disabilities. I work in a residential group. Most of the time, I love my work, but sometimes you need a really good uh, nerves and a lot of humor. She's engaged with a funny, wonderful man from Lower Austria, and we're going to get married the 1st of June of this year. Um, I love to travel. Last year, we visited Ireland. I'm a huge fan of Ireland. About 30 years ago, I lived the whole year uh, nearby to Dublin as an au pair. In July 2020, we traveled to the land of her dreams, which is Iceland. It's gorgeous. She's a big fan of Scandinavian countries. I have a lot of interest in making board games with friends, crafting, taking uh, photographs, reading, watching TV, going to concerts, musicals, comedy shows, going to the cinema, and of course, reading, writing postcards. When I was young, I had a lot of pen pals from around the world, and I'm happy that I'll receive mail from all over the world again. I'm a collector of rubber stamps, and I like to create postcards and greeting cards with them. I love to decorate and uh, the post-crossing postcards as well. The cards she really likes are cards with beautiful areas from where you live, beautiful landscapes, funny cards, cards with funny sayings, meet-up cards, black humor, handmade cards, loves the blue cats, uh, ing look, cards with lovely interesting stamps, funny sweet animal cards, interesting unusual photographs, uh, countries she visited, and she's got a whole list of those, but I'm really happy about every postcard no matter what's on it. I love to get handmade postcards and I love making handmade postcards as well. Well, that being said, she said a bunch of different things. Beautiful landscapes, uh, pictures from where you live, and uh, meetup cards. So that's why I went with this one. But, and that's also why I didn't send the other card with this postcard as well. I wanted to have two different ones to show. This is Hopewell Rocks here in New Brunswick. One of our most famous natural landscapes uh, that show the rising tides, the highest tides in the world. And it is one that is signed by all the participants. You can see there I've marked it as well. So that one is going to go off. The next one is going to Germany. So we've got a couple going to Germany, Austria, Liechtenstein so far. This one here says, hello, dear post crossing friend. Nice to visit my profile. She's 36 years old and she lives in the capital of uh, Saxony, uh, Anhalt. And uh, she likes listening to music and going to concerts. She's happy about every postcard here, but only a few suggestions. Maps or of your city, country, also typical postcard, um, typical tourist postcards. She likes the Greetings From series, the Flags of the World series, uh, cards with flags, oceans, tropical beaches, sunsets, northern lights, Tilly maps of German train stations, um, th uh, Thousand Beautiful, I'm not sure what that is, the addition of the Thousand Beautiful. If you know what that is, let me know. Uh, animals, Disney, for example, The Lion King, Walt Disney and Disney Stamps, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Harry Potter, Snow Globes, PHQ cards. I don't know what those are either, so you have to let me know in the comments. Please no cards with religion, no war cards, no advertising cards. Please do not bring cats with you. I'd be very happy with an Easter card at Easter or a birthday card in June. I'd love to receive Halloween postcards in September and October, Christmas and winter uh, postcards or secret Santas in November and December. I love this time, especially when it snows. Dear Finnish postcards, I'm very interested in your country, your language, and very happy with maps that allow me to learn about Finland. And uh, if you have movement stamps, please send. Um, please write more than just happy post crossing and the ID on the postcard. Please tell me how you live. What's your hobby? Uh, you can write anything, even if it doesn't seem interesting to you. What music are you listening to? Or maybe a recipe. Please do not pass on my address to post crossing apps and third parties. Anyone interested in swapping, I'd be happy. I'd be uh, I'm a, a pen pal would also be happy. I collect euro coins and euro notes maybe you'd like to exchange isn't that just just regular currency euros uh, but yes so i've chosen because she said she likes flags nature and animals this polar bear card 
probably not too many polar bears in Germany, and it's got the flag of Canada on there, so I thought maybe it ticked off a couple boxes for her, and uh, we'll try to get some interesting stamps too. All right, the final card I have going out, not a long um, post-crossing profile on it. It's going to France, so it was nice to get one to go to France as well. And uh, she says, hello, everyone. I love pictures, nature's hiking, travel, and so many other things. I prefer postcards with typical views of your country or city, but I'll be happy to receive any other postcards. I hope to travel by watching your postcards and about direct swaps. If you're interested, just send me a message. I'll be glad to exchange with you. Hope to read you soon. Well, gone with this one. This is the Montmorency Falls just outside Quebec City. That's a beautiful natural postcard of something you would see if you came to Canada. But more importantly on the back, it's written in French and English. So I thought maybe she would appreciate getting a card that had uh, a little bit of French on it as an explanation. So those are the five cards that I have to uh, send out. So we're gonna pick one of these cards. Uh, we will uh, put some washi tape on it. We'll find some stamps. Uh, we'll get the address on it and uh, put a little message. And that's what we'll do for this video today. And then the other four postcards I will write uh, up as time permits today. It shouldn't take me long to get them all finished up. Uh, but let's select a card and get to decorating. All right, let's pick this card here. It is going off to Germany with the polar bear. So what we want to do on the back, first of all, for me anyways, what I like to do is put the washi tape on first. So... Uh, one of the things this person says is they like listening to music and going to concerts. Uh, with that being said, I've got some nice washi tape that might work. And she says she likes, I mean, it's more classical music she likes. What about this washi tape? It's all musical notes. So I thought maybe we could uh, put that on here. Talked about it in the past, about whether or not you cover up words that are on your on your postcard. So at the top, it's got the Canadian flag there and it says Canada. Uh, should we cover that up? Well, I think we can because on the front of the postcard, there is the stamp and the name. So I think we're all right to cover up the back too. So we're going to put this uh, washi tape all around all four edges. And she can have a little bit of music. Normally I might put some washi tape that had polar bears on it if I had it to kind of match the front of the card. But this time we're going to try to do a couple of different things that she likes on the card. Based on what she said in her profile. So... different kind of washi tape because it's got this paper backing on it so I can tear that off and that leaves me with, with not a lot left it's almost done but that's all right we use it up all right that is done the next thing I do is I like to uh, cut out the post crossing ID and the address we're gonna tape that on down here uh, so I want to find some stamps. I think she said something about liking different kinds of stamps. Let me just go back and double check. I don't have Moomin stamps. I'm not in Finland, so I don't have that. I don't have Euros, so we're not doing any of that. Um, yeah. So we're going to find a, a couple stamps. I could put one international stamp on, or I could put a couple there, my airmail stickers. We're going to use that. I like the fact that uh, we can probably put a few different ones on there, mix it up. Uh, she likes animals, so how about a whale? Um, maybe one of the new floral ones. Those are nice. Do one of those. And then what can we use for our third one? How about... These ones here, she's like talking about tourist things. These are the tourist postcard stamps that came out of different regions. So I think maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do, uh, the whales are pretty big. Uh, so let's 
pick out a type of this whale, for example. Throw that one up there. So there's stamp number one. Stamp number two. Um, well, we'll do one of these Great Lake postcards. So there's stamp number two. And then stamp number three, we'll do one of these nice floral ones. And then do we have room? If I did it on an angle, let's put this in first. And uh, we're going to do that off camera, of course. Cover it up. So we'll grab the tape, put the address on, the post crossing ID. Then uh, I'll add in a uh, hedgehog sticker, which I like to do in the corners. And we'll cover it up. Alright, we got an address. We need a hedgehog sticker. Hedgehog sticker. How about uh, how about said hedgehog sticker? Or uh, did she say anything about liking tea? I can't remember. I don't think so. Books, yes. So let's go with a book. Book Hedgehog. Alright, got that on. Now I can put a little cover up on it so I have to protect the person's address. And then we can carry on. So there you can see Hedgehog sticker in the corner, person's address, post crossing IDs in there too. And then uh, we can do an airmail sticker that down here along the bottom. Uh, these little stamp booklets come with stickers too, so I'm going to put one of those stickers on there. And I'll put it up here. There we go. That covers that corner. Now, the other thing she said is she says she likes Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. So in my sticker drawer, I do have Harry Potter stickers. I thought maybe I would add one of those in too. This is a brand new booklet. I know I've got a booklet that's open, but uh, for time's sake, we're just gonna open this one here. And how about that, have you seen this wizard? Those of you who watch Harry Potter, you will know all about that. So we're gonna put that up there. So there's a Harry Potter sticker. And that still gives us a little bit of room left to write the message. I don't have to put the post-crossing ID, but I can put the date. So March the 24th, 2024. Uh, the current temperature outside. Uh, well, let's do this. We're going to do YouTube first. I like to put my channel in case they want to see this card. And we're going to put the message in. Because I've got room over... Actually, I put it up here. It's uh, currently... Two degrees Celsius there. We're going to do hello and don't have a lot of room left. Uh, it's got a polar bear on the front. I guess I don't have to tell them about polar bears. They probably know that. Um, let's just say today uh, is mild and a bit rainy. But the snow is gone. And then my name. And that's about all I have room for. So we've got three nice stamps. We've got a Harry Potter sticker on there. We have the address and the post crossing ID. I've got a hedgehog sticker. And we have a card that kind of fits their bill. Hopefully, they'll enjoy it. The hobby's just that easy. You print a profile, you select a card, you decorate it how you think the person might enjoy it, you put a nice little message, and then it goes off into the world. And then hopefully in a timely manner, it arrives at the destination, it gets registered, and then a new card gets sent to you. Well, that's how it works. And uh, so now I've got four more cards that I just have to enjoy writing and sending a little bit of message and decorate with them. Um, so that's what I'm going to do from here. Hopefully you guys will enjoy a good day. Tomorrow I have a, a stamp video coming out based on what Steven sent to me. Uh, on Friday I showed you an envelope he sent 
uh, with an Easter card in it and inside of it has some stamps. So I was going to show you those stamps tomorrow uh, and then we will see what videos are to come throughout the week. Stay tuned and have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>